Um, people ask what to wear, costumes. One thing, I mean, a lot of the stuff I'm not, not going to go into because you could get off the internet or the Burning Man site. I would say do not wear sandals, wear sneakers, take good care of your feet, and get really good hiking socks. Go to a good camping store, they might be like $10 for two, a pair, and uh, get the anklets or the high socks for at night, and socks that wick, and it'll take good care of your feet. You also want to get, don't bring your old sneakers, hey, I'm walking around the desert, they're going to be all dirty and all, I'm not going to bring my good sneakers I go to the clubs with. No, wrong. You're walking a lot. You're going to be walking about, seriously, about 15, 17 miles a day if you were to see like a small portion of the stuff. So you want to wear good sneakers. Go out and buy a brand new pair of sneakers. Yeah, they're going to get dirty, but your feet will thank you for it. And make sure you don't get them too big. You don't get blisters. Uh, make sure you bring costumes along. Even get material. You can make a lot of stuff on your own. Even anything that doesn't have to be anything special, but if you will feel more comfortable in a costume because most other people will be in a costume themselves also. Uh, different things on, well, the tent. The tent, what you have to do is you have windows that zip up in the tent. You also have a vent in the top of the tent, a breather. And above that, there'll be a fly. What you need to do is seal that vent up. You can take plastic or a piece of cotton and duct tape it. Duct tape is not good for the tent, it makes a mess, but believe me, when that wind whips up, that dust powder will go under that fly and come into your tent and make a total mess of it. So do that to your tent. I work with uh, so just a little welcome mat at front, get a little bathroom rug from Walmart, Walmart. it'll keep your tent a lot cleaner. And also a sun tarp. The sun is beating down on your tent. Go to tarps.com, get a silver sun tarp, and put that over your tent. You will be very cold at night. You'll be shivering, make sure you have a warm sleeping bag. Within a 20 minute period, when that sun rises and hits your tent, you'll go from shivering to sweating, like a ton, it'll hit you like a ton of bricks. So you will not be able to sleep past nine o'clock. So if you want even an extra half hour of sleep or more, get a sun tarp. Um, let's see. Other stuff to bring. Uh, I recommend emergency. This is really good to have. You're feeling dehydrated. It's like a super Gatorade. I would bring this along. You get it at Walmart, any place like that. Um, even in during the day, I would mix a little bit. You want weak Gatorade, not powerful Gatorade like you would drink with rum, but weak Gatorade, and just mix that with your water and have that gulp water all the time. I have a hydro pack. You get one of these, they're kind of pricey, about $60. You wear this on your back, put this in your mouth. I also carry a pad in here and a little golfing pencil. And in case you meet somebody or, hey, there's a party going on, this is the address you need to write things down, you'll never remember it. And you keep little gifts and things like that in here too. Uh, miscellaneous things. No rinse hair shampoo. This is, you get this at CVS for like about $6. It just makes you feel really good before you go out at night. Uh, you just take this, put it in your head, your hair, lather it, and towel dry it. No water is needed. I mean, if you don't have a shower, your hair looks good, refresh, you feel a lot better after walking around in the heat all day. So I recommend this. You need to put things in Ziploc bags. Organize your clothes and everything. Ziploc bags, this is actually two and a half gallon size. Put your things in here. I have everything labeled. I have like personal, daily personal. When I get up in the morning, I have my toothbrush in there. I have a cup. I have my sunscreen, my facial moisturizer, my razor, everything I'm gonna use in the morning. So I'm taking this out. Okay, I'm using everything in here. They're all together. Put it away. You have different bags for everything. Organize it up, believe me. And keep, they'll keep everything clean. You'll be very happy you did. Sunscreen, you're packing sunscreen even toothpaste on the plane, put them all in a separate plastic bag with a uh, little twisty around it because the pressure from the airplane might make them open up and you'll have a mess. I learned the hard way. So do that. A little thing that I have on my tent is a mailbox. I just took a cool container. I clipped this to one of the poles. There's a little post-it pad in there and people can write a note and a pencil and it'll flag. They write the note 
seal it up, hang it back on the tent, and see you have mail. So I know. I know a lot of people out there, people are always coming looking for me, and I'm always out on the go. I'm always walking around. I'm never at camp. So this way I know if you're coming to see me or, hey, I don't want to miss out on a party or anything like that either. You know? um, let's see, I have to just like see what I missed here. Ziploc bags, trash bags. This is monkey face, by the way. Yeah. Hi, monkey face. Yeah. <laughs> just a few more things I want to go over that I have on my list over here to tell you guys. Trash bags. Bring trash bags from home. Heavy duty. Why buy them out there? You get them at home on sale. They don't take much room in your suitcase up. Get the heavy duty ones because you're going to be compacting your plastic water jugs and they cut through your plastic bags. What you want to do is get a, uh, like a small bag. You want two of them in your tent. One for burnables. The, the white bees, paper towels, which you'll clean things up with, whatever it can be burned. You want to put them in there. Another bag for actual garbage. If you have uh, glow sticks, well, I really don't really recommend glow sticks because they're not good for the environment. There's better things out there that actually use batteries. Um, so it's good to separate those things. And you, know, if you burn everything at the end of the week. You need a watch. Get a cheap watch. Uh, you could get one for $5. You do need to watch out there. There's things going on all the time, and you don't want to miss it. One year I didn't bring a watch, and I missed some really cool things because I was like a half hour too early to want to stick around, or late and all. Um, dish gloves or surgical gloves, bring them. When you're picking stuff up out of the dust in the playa, you're picking up garbage and all, little things, you don't want to get more of that stuff on your hands of the dust than you need to. So you put them on, they'll keep your hands cleaner, and by making them cleaner, there'll be less chance of them drying out. So your hands are going to dry out in the desert, and you'll have to put a ton of moisturizer on. Believe me. And make sure you bring a lot of moisturizer with you, because by the end of the week, you'll be putting them on your cuticles maybe every hour. Okay? That's what you'll need to do. Extra sunglasses you need. Um, Another thing what I do is I have a, I make a list of the top 10 camps that I like, look on the website, write them down, write the addresses down, otherwise you'll never get to see them, make a list of them. Uh, bicycle versus no bike, I prefer no bike, I like traveling, being free and not having to depend upon looking for a bike. At night you don't want to use a bike, bikes are dangerous, you could trip over them, uh, they're all over the place, so I kind of lean against it. Bring lights, you want to be lit up. It's dangerous out there. Think of yourself like a ship in the night. You need a light on the front of you and a light in the back of you. And if you don't have a light on, I didn't have one in the back where it was out. And somebody actually got pissed, really pissed off at me because they almost ran into me on a bicycle. So you need to be lit up just for your own safety, believe me. Start drinking lots of water. Start drinking water and going for walks in the beginning of August. OD on water, okay? You gotta just hydrate yourself. Let's see, I think that's really about it. So I'll just give my, uh... so that's, that's really about it. Uh, those are the most frequently asked questions that people call me up or email me about on their first trip to Burning Man or even their second trip. I hope you have a, a really good time. Um, I just want to make it easier for you. If you have any further questions, you can email me and uh, see you on the fly. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hey, what you can do if you live in New Jersey, New York area, you can have things shipped to the playa through the container in New York. It's a very, very good price. Unbelievable. What you do is get one of these containers, like I did. Uh, I kind of made some spots on it so you could find it in the, in the truck. And put everything in here. But what I do is, so it, the lid stays down, I drill holes in the lid. And then I put a string through it. And then I tie, put the string through, and then I just tie it. I don't tie it, you know, like that. That's even good enough to keep it on. Okay, that's a good helpful hand. Don't use those plastic things. They just create garbage. It's not good for the environment. You have to cut them. You have to lose them. Extra things you have to bring. Use a string. I've been using this string for several years, the same string, you know, and it survives. So that's another little helpful hint from Taco Boy.